Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna. Thank you so much for being here. And today I'm going to share with you a small haul um, of things that I decided to spend my money on in the month of July. Now since I am on a low buy, I'm not buying a ton of new makeup to try out and things like that. I did get a few things um, this month to kind of take the place of, a f of some stuff that I recently decluttered and I uh, just did a declutter video so that will be linked in the description box so you could go check out the things I decided to finally uh, declutter and pass along. I mainly just focus on replacements for things and get little items here and there that I think that are really going to add value to my wardrobe or to my accessories and things like that. Let's get started with some of my replacements first. Pixi products are a absolute staple in my skincare routine. I did replace the vitamin C tonic by by Pixi. This is my second time using this one and I really like it a lot. Um, more so than like there's the retinol one which I believe is kind of like got a purpley hue and there's the rose one. I think so far out of those three that I have tried, I like this uh, vitamin C one and the rose one the best. So I have that as a replacement. And then I also replaced my glow tonic, which is again, another absolute staple. I get the smaller bottles, even though they do sell like the large value size of those. Um, I get the small ones because that's what fits in the storage little unit that I store my skincare and go through every day. And I also replaced my um, hydrating Milky Mist spray. I love this spray, I use it um, morning and night, really. I am looking for another kind of really nice spray to use in the morning because I generally like to use one this one at night but it doesn't really matter I can use it morning and night I just kind of like to have to I did need a brand new bottle of my CeraVe hydrating cleanser this is my favorite cleanser for my face I do a double cleanse and I like to use either a makeup remover balm or an oil I'll use that to first get in and really just break down the makeup and remove that and then I'll go in with this as my second cleanse. And then I bought a small pack, a 25 count pack of these um, cleansing wipes. I don't, I no longer use cleansing wipes at all on a daily basis. So one pack lasts me a really, really long time. The last pack that I had had 40 in them and I believe I had gotten it from Walmart and that lasted me, gosh, I think like four or five months because now I have switched over to the reusable cotton rounds to um, use for my skincare and makeup removal and all of that. I just got the ones from Target compared to the Simple brand, their Up and Up brand, and this is a count of 25. So I got that. I got one more fun skincare item. I got these at Ulta. It was $9. I've never had anything like this before. They are the Collagen Hydrogel Under Eye Patches by Earth Therapeutics. It looks like this. And it comes with, I think, nine or ten. Oh, not nine. What am I talking about? Nine. <laughs> Five pairs of under eye patches. I have not yet cracked these open, but um, it just something that looked really neat and I've been wanting to try. I had seen them at an Ulta before and just kind of notated it that that was something that I wanted to try at some point. And so they had them online and I just thought that I would try these little eye patches. They say they may help reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles, just like every under eye thing <laughs> claims to do. But I just thought it would be really fun to have just another option in my little mask routine. I don't really do masks that often, probably once a week. So I just thought I would add that in, like do a nice sheet mask and then also put those on as well. Pardon me as I rummage through my box over here and take out all the stuff that I have. Also from Ulta, I went ahead and decided to purchase a full size of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is my favorite glowy 
primer. I've used multiple little bottles of like the travel size one and gotten that over and over again I and I decided to finally invest in paying for the full size version. I've used other illuminating primers and things like that but by far I feel like the Becca one for me is the best one. I just really really like it so I was really excited to be able to purchase this. The previous illuminating primer that I was using was the one by Flower Beauty and so I used it all up. I didn't have any other glowy type of a primer so I decided to go ahead and get the Becca one which is something I've been really wanting for a long time and so I went ahead and got the full size one. So I am really excited about having that and I know that this is going to last a really long time because I don't use a glowy primer necessarily on a daily basis. And another thing I was really really excited to get especially on sale was the Too Faced Tutti Fruity It's Bananas Powder. This is one that I've been really really wanting to try ever since it came out. I'm not sure if it got like super rave reviews or anything like that. I know that Andrea uh, Matigliano really likes this powder and I also really love the packaging too with the little bananas on there. It's so cute. It has these little bananas kind of embossed on to the powder. And this is supposed to be really good as an under eye powder. I have not yet used this on my under eyes yet, but I really like that it's kind of a yellow based powder. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good option for me. And it was on sale. I think it was I think it was half off. It was like $16 for the powder. I have two pressed powders right now that I'm using. One of them I have really hit pan on that is almost done. It's my Milani pressed powder. And then I have the a Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder that I've been using quite a lot. I will start using this most likely next month and report back on how it's doing, see if I like it for my under eye. Another thing that I got at Ulta, which I've shared about my love for this powder before, it is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This by no means is a bronzer for me and my skin tone. This is in the color Reserve Your Cabana. They don't sell this the bronzers in this packaging anymore. I have not considered buying a new the new packaging that they have. It looks like the formula is very different. The colors are very different. They don't even have this color. I love this as a finishing powder. It looks so good just lightly dusted over your makeup as a finishing powder. The powder is super finely milled like it's so light. There's just this very faint hint, like super faint hint of a slight sheen to it, not glittery, not even shimmery really, but it's just such a pretty, pretty powder. It's most likely like undetectable on camera, I bet. I just love it and I have one right now that I've been using on a pretty consistent basis and I just really wanted to get I guess a backup of it. Since this packaging has been discontinued, I don't know when it's gonna just be completely gone. You can't buy it in the drugstores at all anymore. They don't have the option, but at Ulta, online only, you can still purchase the bronzers in the old packaging. So if these were your favorite, I would suggest getting a few from Ulta. I got a replacement for my NYX Butter Gloss, one that I keep in my little makeup bag in my purse all the time. The color Praline is the one that I just recently, I'm just scraping the tube right now, and so I got a replacement. I decided to go with the color Ginger Snap. It's a little bit more brown than the Praline, and I've never tried this color. I love the NYX Butter Glosses, so this is going to be my new um, purse gloss, I guess. I did pick up a replacement for my favorite lower lash line mascara, which is the Wet n Wild Little Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I've talked about this many times. I've used it in any get ready, get ready with me's that I've done. This is the mascara that I use. I love it for the lower lash line. It has a teeny tiny little wand, making it super easy to get on your bottom lashes. I decided to go ahead and replace my color pop brow boss gel in clear this doesn't do much to really give your eyebrows a lot of hold necessarily what I really do like about what this product does is once I put it through my brows 
and kind of let it sit there for a minute. Then I can go in with the brow powder that I like to use and it gives something for the powder to adhere to and kind of stick to. So after I finish with the brow powder, what I'll do is I'll go in with the CoverGirl Clear brow gel or with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one and just kind of comb through my brows to just give them that extra hold. But this I like for the purpose of using it as a base for the powder to stick to. So the last thing I had got from Ulta is this set of Dashing Diva Magic Press Press-On Nails. I'm trying to hopefully show you that without the glare. So these are a press-on manicure. There's no glue involved. They just have little sticky tabs that you then, you know, adhere the nail on to your nail. I've not used this brand before. My favorite nails as far as the press-on nails are the Impress brand of press-on nails. You can get them at CVS, Walmart, Target has them sometimes, and um, Walgreens and stuff like that. You can get them at the drugstore. And I love those press-on nails so much. I've been using them for a few years now. They work so good. They don't damage your nails. The manicure will last about a week. And I noticed that Ulta had this brand. So I want to try them out and see if this brand compares to the Impress nails that I have. One of these days I want to do a video on how I put on the nails and what they look like and all of that. I just really love them. I think they're neat. They look really nice. I've just had such fun using them. They come in so many different designs and patterns with accent nails and all of that. So it is one of my favorite ways to do my nails is using the little um, stick-on nails. And I love that there's no glue involved, so it's not going to damage your nails and they are very easy to remove when you need to remove them. So let's move on. So at CVS, I had a coupon for L'Oreal products. It was like, get two, buy one, get one 50% off, something like that. Plus they were giving extra bucks rewards, like four or five dollars if you bought a certain dollar amount. Anyways, I bought a new brow stylus definer pencil, the L'Oreal one. I used the color Dark Brunette. This is one of my favorite ones. This and the current one that I'm using is the CoverGirl one, which is getting a little bit low. I really love it though. I like it just as much as the L'Oreal one. It's basically the same thing with the spoolie on the end and the little thin pencil. This and the powder that I like, which is a which is by Tarte, is my favorite way to do my brows. I love the precise line that you can do with it and just like the hair-like strokes. So I picked this one up. And with that, the second L'Oreal item I got was their infallible full wear concealer. I purchased a lighter color and that I really, really like, but it's a touch too light for me. So I wanted to go ahead and get the next shade up for me, which is, let's see here. It's number 385 Amber. I can't remember the other one that I got. I think it was Latte. Yeah, Latte was the other color that I had purchased originally. And usually I have to get two colors to kind of get what I want, especially if I'm doing a day where it's like no foundation, I'm just using concealer. I really like to have two colors. This one is really, really good. I'm enjoying it so much. I am actually wearing it today with the um, Fresh Wear foundation. So I'm really liking it. And boy, does a little go a long way. You just need like one little dot under each eye and it just conceals. It conceals. Let's see, I did pick up another Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the number 720. I believe this one is Espresso. Espresso. It's just a taupey brown color. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but I really like, I have one other of these cream eyeshadows and I absolutely love it. This one is more of like a matte kind of skin tone shade for me. And so I'm really excited to have it. I just really love these cream eyeshadows. They are such good quality. And so yeah, I picked this up at a CVS. And another item, this one is a YouTuber <laughs> made me buy it purchase. It is the Revlon Balm Stain in the color Adore this guy right here. This purchase is a direct result from one of my favorite people on YouTube, Leanne of Leanne Says. And 
her favorite um, lip product. Like the lip product that she carries with her everywhere is a Revlon Balm Stain. But she recently did a video about how they've discontinued these and she's trying to find a dupe. She's trying to find a replacement. She is running out of like her backups of it and all of that. And um, I watched her video and I just love her so much. And I'm like, I want to try one. So I had, when I was in the CVS, I um, went to the Revlon stand to see if they even had any. And they had a few left. They had like four left. And this was the last one of this particular color, which I thought would work best for me. And I love this, you guys. I, it's, let me try and swatch it a little bit on my hand. There's the color. It's just, from. it's kind of like a rusty, r ruddy red kind of a color. And it kind of has a minty smell to it. It doesn't feel super minty on the lips, but there's definitely mint in here. I love this. And now <laughs> it's so funny because it's going to be discontinued. So anytime I've been out to Target or any drugstore or anywhere and they have makeup, I looked at the Revlon display to see if by chance they have any more and they don't. So I'm a little late uh, to the train on this one, but I really love it. And I wish I would have paid attention to the other times she was talking about it because she has talked about it before and how much she loves it. And I really love this. I really, really do. So we shall see how long this lasts me. I'm sure it'll last me quite some time. And I just really like it. I'm glad that I got a chance to experience the balm stain before they're gone and they aren't anymore. So if you are a fan of the Revlon balm stain, check out your local drugstores and see because it does appear that they are phasing this out completely and have replaced it with some other kind of stain product, but this is the one I really wanted to try. So, and it is really, really, good, really, really good. If you don't like minty smells or sensations, you won't like it, but if you don't mind that, which I don't, I like it, you'll like it. So, thanks Leanne. So, I've got two things from the Walmart blushes. I have two. One is by the brand, brand Found. I've never tried anything by this brand before. It looks like this. It is this really pretty marbleized blush. Marbleized kind of baked illuminating blush. And I recently decluttered a matte blush by Tarte that I had had for a really, really long time. I got a lot of good use out of it and I decided to finally declutter it. And what I've been really looking for to replace that, I really wanted something deeper and even more mauve that was going to stand out a little bit more. And I found this one from Found. So I'm going to swatch it here. It is so pretty, silky, it's smooth. I'm so glad it's good quality. I didn't look up any reviews on this brand. Uh, I know I've, I've heard of that, heard of it and I've seen it, but I really liked baked illuminating blushes. I love the ones from Milani and this one looked really good. It didn't look like it had any like chunkiness to it or anything like that. It's so, so nice. So I can't wait to use this more and I'm really glad that I found that from Found. I got another blush from Milani. I did get one of their baked blushes. This is in the color Sunset Passion. This is one of their baked blushes here. And this translates on me like a really deep peach color, which I don't have anything else like it. And I just love this one said it was exclusive to Walmart on the tag. So I'm not sure if that's true or not. It just said that on, on the display that this particular color was exclusive to Walmart only. These blushes are such great quality and the color payoff is just wonderful. They're smooth and oh, just great. They're really, really great blushes. And if you watched, I think, my empties video recently, you'll see that I completely 100% percent panned my Luminoso and at some point I will purchase that one again but I kind of got this as my replacement for that for now. So that's it for all like makeup and skincare and I have a few accessories to share and that's it. Two things from Target that I got were these earrings 
let's see here. I've always had really, really good luck with the Universal Thread and the A New Day brand of things at Target. And I really, really like their accessories very much. I have a few in my jewelry collection already. And I decided to pick up these hoops. They're really, really pretty brass hammered sort of metal here. On one side, yeah, it's got that hammered effect and the other kind of side has this kind of grooved texture on it. And I actually replaced um, a pair of earrings that I recently had to throw away. They just had gotten really tarnished and, and yucky. And so I decided to pick up these to replace a pair that I recently had to throw away. So I really like that and I will get a lot of use out of them. I love wearing hoop style earrings. And from the brand A New Day, I picked up these ones. Oh, I love these so much. They're all wood and they're really nice and light. And my favorite thing, of course, is this pop of this bright coral ready orange color right here. I can't wait to wear them. And these I just thought were really special and unique to me. And yeah, I really like these a lot. So lastly, of the things I decided to buy in July, are some hair accessories, one of which I am wearing right now, and I love them. So I had to go to Kohl's about a week ago to do an Amazon return. You can just go to the customer service counter there and they will do your return, and they will also give you a coupon for like 25% off or whatever if you purchase anything, including items that are on sale. Kohl's is in a place that I frequent as far as shopping is concerned or anything like that. But since I was there, I did start to look around just a little bit and I found these really, really cute hair accessories. I just simply love the look of a hair scarf around the head, I guess. What I don't love though is just what it does in the back of my head. My hair is really slippy and even though you can like pin a hair scarf if you've tied it around your hair, it will still just like slowly <laughs> migrate up the back of my head and just bother me. And I'm always having to like fidget with it and then end up having to redo it throughout the day. And so I do have a few hair scarves that I really, really enjoy wearing, but I saw these here it is, here's another one I got. I got this one, which I really like, and I've worn it a couple times, and then I got this really awesome kind of leopard eye cat sort of print fabric, and I just love these so much. The little tails here do have wire in them so you can bend them, and it's really, really comfortable, which is so weird for a headband. Oh, there's a siren. Please go away. I really like headbands, but I can never wear them because they will just start to give me a headache and feel like they are digging into the side of my head. These do not do that. I can wear it all day and I just barely feel it on my head. It doesn't hurt the, the back of my ears back here and it has this kind of, I don't know, ripply look to it, making it kind of look like you have a hair scarf around your head. These have probably been around and it's nothing crazy new or anything like that. They had so many cute prints, but I decided to just get two of them, try them out and see how it goes. And all the accessories were on sale, plus I got the extra 25% off with the coupon that I had. I just love these and I am going to really, really enjoy um, wearing them. So, so cute. And lastly, I picked up this little scrunchy one, like ponytail holder, you can put it around your bun and it's got this really pretty scarf on the ends here and I just thought that was so cute. And I just think it'll look really pretty in the hair and the fabric is just really nice and soft and filmy and flimsy, so it will drape really, really nice. So that's it. Those are all the items that I chose to spend some of my budget on in the month of July, and I'm really happy with everything that I have, and I had some of the stuff I can't wait to start using and wearing. Everything else that I spent my budget on this month would have been like gas or food or other types of necessities like that, not necessarily beauty 
items, clothes, or accessories, or housewares. I didn't purchase any housewares or anything like that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Everything that I spoke about will be linked in the description box below. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me. And if you did enjoy yourself, please consider liking and subscribing and stick around. I like to put out videos at least once a week and I've been, for the most part, pretty consistent with that. And I think there's a few times where I was able to do two in one week, which is ideally my goal at some point to be able to do two. But for now, it's just been consistently about once per week. Random kind of days because I can't seem to get one down like on the same day every single week. But I'm doing consistently once a week. So anyways... Like I said, I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them. So I hope you have a great rest of your morning or afternoon or evening or whatever time it is that you happened across this video of mine. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and make some dinner for my husband and myself. Remember, you are a child of God. You were made in the image of God. You are beautiful and you are loved and you are good. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.